There have been some truly epic knockouts since MMA's inception back in the early 1990s, far too many to count to be honest. However, some stand head and shoulders above the rest for various reasons. From their importance in a title sense to the skill involved, today we're discussing the greatest MMA knockouts and most stunning ends to fights of all time, so stay right where you are. First up, it's Scott Smith. This is one for the true MMA purist and came courtesy of Scott Smith against Pete Sell back in November 2006. The second round finish was quite literally jaw-dropping as Cell landed a huge blow to the midsection of Smith, creasing him over, which appeared to be the beginning of the end for Smith. However, he simply decided he wasn't going out like that, and as Cell rushed in for the finish, sensing that his opponent was seriously injured, Smith landed a huge right hand which shut out the lights. Cell dropped straight to the ground and Smith followed him down, attempting to land another blow, but it was unnecessary as Pete Cell was done. Do you guys remember this one? Pretty crazy, right? We're talking about Edson Barboza next, stay with us. One of the most iconic knockouts of all time came courtesy of Brazilian Muay Thai and kickboxing legend Edson Barboza. He took on Liverpool's Terry a team back in January 2012, landing a spinning wheel kick knockout for the ages. A knockout which is still regularly seen on highlight reels across the sport of MMA to this day. Barboza had arguably won the first two rounds as the fight rolled into the third, with both men feeling each other out in the center and looking for an opportunity to attack. Barboza landed a nice combination which ended with a well-paced kick to the thigh. This sent a team back a little and created a tiny opportunity for Barboza to land probably the best spinning wheel kick in MMA history, which instantly slept a team and unfortunately for him banished him to a lifetime as a highlight reel. Sadly for a team who is widely regarded as one of the fathers of UK MMA, the knockout signaled the beginning of the end and he would only fight another two times before retiring at the age of 27. What is the best spinning wheel kick KO of all time in your opinion. Next up, we have Jorge Masvidal, stay tuned. Gamebred came up against wrestling standout Ben Askren back in 2019 to settle the beef the pair had shared ever since Askren made way to the UFC from Bellator. The two were constantly at each other's throats, and for Jorge, the fight was personal. The fastest knockout in UFC history came five seconds into the fight as Masvidal landed a perfectly placed knee. Having run straight at Ben as the fight began, Askren shot for a takedown as he saw Jorge coming, but Masvidal had studied Askren's technique and knew he had a tendency to drop his head to the left. The Miami man landed a right knee to the temple of Askren, which still resonates to this day, and much like a team, Askren will have to relive that moment for the rest of his days. And to Masvidal's credit, he had trained the move and released footage shortly after, showing how he had drilled that exact finish with his coach. A truly superb KO and one of the best of all time, are you a Jorge fan? We have Francis coming through next. One of the most iconic knockouts of all time is also one of the most terrifying and was the one which truly announced Francis Ngannou on the world stage. He took on Dutch kickboxing legend Alistair Overeem at UFC 218 in December 2017 and put down a marker for the rest of the division by almost killing Reem. As the pair came together in the center of the octagon, Francis sent out a little rangefinder to see where Reem was at. Overeem fired back by attempting a right, which was swiftly followed up by an overhand left, but Francis wasn't having it. The current heavyweight champion telegraphed the Dutchman's movements and landed a left uppercut, the likes of which we had never seen before. The shot was so powerful, it almost lifted the 250-pound heavyweight off his feet, before sending him directly to the canvas. Nganu then landed another right after following his opponent to the ground, but Reem was out cold. One of the most terrifying knockouts of all time, this was the fight which really made Nganu's fellow heavyweights stand up and take notice. What did you guys think of this one at the time? Pretty incredible, right? Joaquin Buckley is coming through now. One of the more recent entries on today's list, and also one of the best you're ever likely to see technique-wise, Buckley came up against Impa Kasangane back in October 2020 during the pandemic era, when Dana briefly took the promotion to Abu Dhabi, and he landed one of the all-time great KOs from a position where it looked as though he was certain to be taken down. Buckley had thrown a left high kick at his opponent, but somewhat surprisingly, Kasangane caught the kick after he blocked Buckley's attempt. With Joaquin on one leg and in a very vulnerable position, it was his speed of thought which won the day. As he landed a spinning back kick for the ages directly to the face of his opponent, Kasangane's eyes rolled back in his head and Buckley would later describe it as a kick that changed his whole entire life. Buckley would go on to explain that the kick has its 
origins in the Korean martial art of Taekwondo and is actually called a two-touch kick, whatever it was, it was truly epic and it's unlikely we will ever see anything like it again in the UFC. Incredible. What is your favorite martial art? Give us your thoughts below. We're talking Rampage Jackson next, stick around. Rampage is synonymous with his wars against guys like Chuck Liddell and others and is one of the most iconic MMA heavyweights of all time. A 12-fight UFC veteran, it is actually a knockout from back in his pride days which sees him make today's list in a fight against Ricardo Arona. The June 2004 bout in Saitama, Japan saw Arona attempt a triangle choke on Rampage in the first round of the fight, but with Rampage appearing to struggle getting out of his grip, he simply decided to show his brute strength. He got to his feet, complete with Arona still looking for the triangle, and simply lifted the Brazilian up towards his head, showing an incredible amount of power. Of course, we could see exactly what was in the post for Arona as Rampage simply slammed him back down to the canvas with such force that it instantly rendered him unconscious. Now, 18 years after that fact, we haven't seen anything like it since. And just for improvisation alone, Rampage deserves to have this classic KO on today's list. Do you guys remember this one? Pretty epic, right? Valentina is coming through now. Kyrgyz standout Valentina Shevchenko is undoubtedly one of the greatest female fighters of all time and has dominated the flyweight division for almost five years now. She took on Jessica I in her first title defense back in 2019 where she landed one of the best head kick knockouts you are ever likely to see. As the pair came together in the center of the octagon towards the end of the second round, I appeared to lower her stance, possibly looking for a takedown. However, she had made a crucial mistake as she had lowered her hands just enough for the Muay Thai southpaw to pounce. Valentina didn't miss a beat and landed a left head kick so pure and sweet that it instantly slept Jessica and put her on the map as one of the pound for pound best. What did you guys make of this one? Let us know what you think below. Michael Chandler is joining us now, stay with us. If this one doesn't win the 2022 KO of the year, then we might as well all pack up and go home. Chandler nearly killed Tony Ferguson back in May with a front kick from hell. The shot had so much force that El Kukoi was out cold for about two minutes and those in attendance around the arena were seriously concerned for his welfare. Chandler was pushing the pace and hunting Tony down. When he saw a minuscule opening, he threw out a front kick which landed flush on the chin of the former lightweight interim champion and instantly crumpled him. After the bout, Chandler explained that he never even practices the kick in training, but something just told him to give it a go. Of course, what happened next resulted in one of the scariest knockout finishes of all time and one which will almost certainly be shown on highlight reels for the rest of time. Do you guys think Tony should call it a day? And finally, it's Kamaru Usman. What makes Usman's knockout win over Jorge Masvidal so special is the fact that he is synonymous with wrestling and no one knew he had this sort of knockout power in his locker. When you factor in Masvidal's boxing prowess, then it seems even better. The pair faced off for the second time in less than a year back in April 2021 as Jorge had claimed that he would be able to take the champ on the back of a full camp, having stepped in on less than a week's notice for their first fight the previous July. However, Kamaru was in no mood to be messing around and in the second round delivered one of the sweetest right-hand knockouts we've seen in recent years. Masvidal had clearly underestimated Usman's power and boxing abilities as he stood in front of the champ with his hands by his sides. Of course, Kamaru wasn't welterweight champ for nothing and seized his opportunity by delivering a straight right across the chin of Gamebred, instantly knocking him out cold, a superb effort by the Nigerian Nightmare. What is the best KO on today's list for you? As always, thanks for dropping in on us today and remember to swing by again next time when we will be discussing loads more fun bits and pieces. And why not do us a big favor by liking and sharing today's video whilst also subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.